Well, our next guest here has a lot to talk about. A new documentary tells his life story as a musician, as a military service member. It also details how he was abandoned as a child, but reunited with his biological family. We are honored to have country music artist Rocky Lynn joining us this morning on Daytime. It is an absolute pleasure to have you on the oh, show. Amy, thank you for having me. What, what a beautiful place that you guys live. I mean, it's just stunning here, and well, it's a joy for us to drive in. Well, yeah, you said you were on tour, so you're kind of in between stops here. Yeah, and we're lucky enough to get to stop in the Tri-Cities. And we're lucky enough to get to have you on the show. So let's talk a little bit about, first of all, you've got, you had an incredible day back in April. You had a documentary released and an album released on the same day. You know, when they came to me and said they wanted to make a documentary about my life, I had three really big concerns. One. I didn't want it to. Uh, I didn't want it to suck. Like, what if it's not? What if it's <laughs> yeah. not very good? You know, what? If, what if it doesn't turn out very good? And then what? What would they? I thought they would do it about, you know, my, my military service or my charity, which has raised over a million dollars and sent 23 kids to school, or my songs that I wrote for other people. But I had a secret. I had like a a secret that I've been keeping, you know, for my whole life, that. I thought, I wonder if that's going to come out, and, and it did, you know, immediately. I, was, I, I knew that I, I, I was found in a garbage dumpster and gr placed at a place called the Barium String Springs Home for Children, and that's where I grew up for the first part of my life. And I wasn't hiding it because I was ashamed of it. I was hiding more because I didn't want people to feel sorry for me or to, or to give me credit that I didn't deserve. I wanted to earn it. You know what I mean? That's why yeah. I think I went in the Army. That's why I think I was a paratrooper. I was looking for that unity. And then, of course, in this movie, in the making of this movie, they found my father. Uh -huh. And when they found my father, he, he was a paratrooper in the same unit as me. He rode a motorcycle his whole life, and he played guitar in a country band. I mean, I may not have known where the tree was, yeah. but I didn't fall very far from it. Yeah, so many parallels. <laughs> and how was that, knowing the background that you came from? I, I imagine it was very emotional to find and learn more about why all this happened to you when the, you were so the young. The story was so unbelievable. And you know, it's funny because at first I didn't want to make a movie. I didn't know what I thought of it. And then it was like, I can't wait for you to see it because it's really not a movie about me. It's about every orphan, every person that's not sure where they're from or anybody that knows someone like that. It's a story about hope and about resilience. I mean, I'm 110 years old and here I am with my guitar putting out a new record, you know? <laughs> At 110. At 110. I mean, he's amazing and he looks great. At a, for 110, <laughs> I'm doing all right. <laughs> your music is incredible too, which of course you've used your, your journey, your whole life story in your music. The movie, what I, the thing, one of the things I'm most proud of about our film is that all of the music, except for the, the hits like Lipstick and Do We Steal, the videos that were on CMT, are, it's all live. Every single bit, when you see the band playing, it's us playing live, just like it is. And I'm proud of that because in a world where it's not always live, it was great to do it that way. Mm, we are excited. You're gonna you're gonna sing a little something for us this morning. I but would. before we let everybody know what you're gonna sing, we do want to say that your your documentary is out. It's available on all the streaming services as well as your music. Documentary is on Amazon Prime. It's on Amazon Prime, and uh, the the album is available everywhere. And I'll I'll do a song from the record about hope. All right. You know. I'm gonna get you. out of here. Rocky Lynn, everybody. Thank you, Amy. There's a space. In this heart of mine I've never mentioned But now I will It's left me lonely For a long, long time Like a raindrop On a windowsill I look for answers where they don't exist Where temptation rules the night Where the shadows steal your happiness But somehow I survive For every storm there's a rainbow to follow And time, it moves so fast 
you can't wait for some distant tomorrow today just might be your last so i look in the mirror and i see myself as someone who's truly made mistakes but i believe i can heal myself if i just have enough faith for every storm there's a rainbow to follow and time it moves so fast you can't wait for some distant tomorrow today just might be your last